Hello everyone, welcome to 90 Degrees, a channel about elevating your design career. My name is Alberto Orsini and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing as it really helps out a lot. I've been reading Julie Sue's Making of a Manager uh, for a few weeks now. I'm actually not done with the book yet. Um, halfway through, but I can confidently say that I recommend it and there's, there's something, basically every single page there has a million things that I can quote on a day-to-day -day basis and even though I've been a manager for a little while already, I can definitely say that not only have I learned a lot from this book, uh, I've gained a lot of confidence in a lot of decisions that I've made in the past. I've been able to reflect on decisions that I uh, I'm not happy about when I think about it, you know, hindsight is, uh, hindsight is 20, 20. Uh, but definitely I think it's a book that has a good mix of information for people that are thinking about jumping into a leadership position, for people that have been working in a leadership position, or even people that don't really know if they want to go into a leadership position. And that's actually what I want to talk about today. For me, going into leadership, going into management was something that sort of made sense. So back when it wasn't really up to me, back when I did it, you know, I saw the opportunity and young me just thought this is a good path to getting more money, basically. So it was purely a monetary decision at the time, but um, over the years I've been able to reflect on some of the decisions that I made and those, those moments in my life. And I would say while money definitely, definitely influenced the decision at the beginning, the only reason why I stayed in that course of, you know, kind of like growing my career through a leadership path was really because it actually made sense to me. And now that I'm able to sort of like look back to my early day, not only my early days as a leader when I had no idea what I was doing, frankly, uh, but also even as a kid, I was the one always trying to make decisions of where we would go and you know, what, what video game we were gonna play that day, uh, which was, you know, I'm, I'm sure it was kind of annoying for the rest of my friends, but I was always kind of like making decisions. As a teenager, when I first got my license and got my first car, I was always down to sort of like picking up my friends and choosing where we were gonna go that day. So, you know, when I, when I think back to it, I, I sort of had the leadership gene, if you will, in me already, that that bug had already bitten me. Uh, not even that, I always had an entrepreneurial sort of like side to me also. As a kid, I was always looking for a way to, uh, ways to make money, whether it was, you know, cutting the grass at my grandma's house, you know, washing my grandpa's car just to have enough money to go to the movies and go to the arcade. Uh, and I'm truly showing my age here by saying all of that. And even that actually evolved into having like a car wash service in my community where I had my own client book and I would go every weekend, you know, house to house and wash cars. And at the end of the weekend, you know, being a, a 13 year old with $85 in my pocket, that was kind of like a big success. And even then I, I, I actually brought in friends. I'm going way too long on this, but I brought friends to wash cars with me just so that we could double down and, and get more clients and stuff like that. So it really made sense to me, but I think one of the fascinating things that I read in the book, and I had never really truly given it some thought, is how do you position yourself if you want to grow in a leadership position? Uh, that's fine. Uh, and, and there are several things that you can follow. There's different, different reasoning why you would want to be a leader or want to be a manager, etc. But what if you didn't? What if you're more introverted? What if you wanted to develop more creative skills? So rather than thinking about money and strategy and roadmaps and spreadsheets, you wanted to actually learn other creative skills. Maybe you want to go into a more technical side. Maybe you want to learn, you know, CSS or a little bit of React uh, because you want to work with Framer. It really comes down to the organization that you work for and what they allow you to do. So you can still keep growing your creative career outside of a leadership position and still get paid more, become more marketable, and it, it, you just need to be in the right environment that allows that to happen. So anyway, I wanted to show that quick tidbit, you know, 
if you want to grow your career, if you want to evolve your career, do not feel discouraged or obligated to only follow a leadership path. If that's not your calling, if you want to stay on the creative side, you just have to think about how you position yourself where are you currently working what sort of client work you're accepting where it lets you level up uh wherever it makes sense to you as opposed to a sort of like a pre-written destiny for you thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you on the next video